and welcome. You're joining us on the South Edition of The Property Show. We're covering the region's top performing real estate locations, residential projects for end use and investment, and plenty of exclusive data and analysis that will reveal the mood of the market. Please welcome Samir Jasuja of Prop Equity. He'll be guiding us as you call in with your investment questions. Coming up on The Property Show today, Hyderabad's growing property markets for prime residences in 90 lakhs. Thani Sandra in Bengaluru in 65 lakhs will shortlist the best investment worthy projects. Also in Bengaluru, we'll look at Devanahalli for budget homes in under 40 lakhs. Chennai's Guruvan Cherry for short term investments in 60 lakhs. And in Chennai, we bring you a market report of the Pallavaram suburb. And on Citizens Voice today, as Chennai limps back to normalcy after the rain flooding, citizens question. Who is accountable for the crippled civic infrastructure in the city? Okay, let's talk about micro markets in Bengaluru first. Uh, looking at Varthu, Thani Sandra, and Devanahalli. With us now is Rituraj Poddar. Hi, Rituraj. Where do you want to invest? Hello. Hi, Ritu. How can we help you? Hello. Hi, Ritu. Can you hear us? What is your question? Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for call, your call back. And actually, I wanted to know, uh, I'm based in UAE and uh, I'm looking for some different purpose in Pandora, probably. And my budget is approximately 50 lakhs. So, location is not an issue. I'm okay with any, I mean, any location. And with my agent, I mean, the idea behind is this pure investment purpose. Okay. So if you can give me some you know, options for that, that can be. All right. So Ritu Raj uh, works in uh, the Gulf and he just wants to invest uh, his savings uh, amounting to about 50 to 60 lakhs in Bengaluru. Samir, which micro market is a good fit for him? Well, uh, you know, the micro market that we've selected, which is Varathur, is a very well priced market and it's also got great uh, connectivity and location in terms of it's in the midst of. Uh, proximity to Whitefield, to Sarjapur Road, to ORR Road. Uh, all these are great micro markets with a lot of employment generation happening on, on in all these micro markets. So this is a micro market that is strategically very well poised uh, because of its pricing and at the same time it's been showing a great deal of appreciation. Uh, it's growing at about 10.5% on an analyzed basis. The micro market is extremely safe on inventory overhang at 16 months. And if you look at the weighted average price, it's still 3650 for the mid-segment, which is very affordable. As I mentioned, the price appreciation is pretty strong here at 10.5%. And the three projects that you can consider are Candio Rise in Varathur at 3800. This is uh, located near the police station uh, next to the Vinayake Theatre. Project has been approved uh, by all the banks. Uh, it's be ready by end of 2016 and work is going according to the schedule. Uh, with all amenities, swimming pool, multi-purpose hall, cricket pitch, uh, bowling uh, machines, even basketball rings, special focus on uh, sports, amphitheater. I think this project is poised to do really well. Uh, and it's also got great proximity it's in terms of social infrastructure. It's uh, three kilometers from the Forum Value Mall. Next is Mulberry Mist by CMRS Group at 3599 rupees a square foot. This uh, project has also got great amenities, uh, an air amphitheater, spacious uh, swimming pool, shuttle badminton court, cricket pitch, basketball court. You see uh, all these developers are uh, really adding on a lot of uh, sporting facilities in Bangalore. That's uh, a good pleasant uh, thing to note. The project is about three and a half acres in size with an open area of about 65%. Uh, and this is 500 meters from the Varathur Subregistrar office. Lastly, we have Spring Bloom by Hilf uh, Homes. Uh, this is a very small project of just 56 units getting ready next year. Uh, the project uh, has uh, developers completed quite a few projects uh, of Sarjapur Road, KR Puram, and uh, developer has a decent track record. Uh, amenities here also are not that many, but still uh, quite a few, including a skating rink, swimming pool, basketball court. And uh, the project is uh, also close to the sub-registrar office of Varathur Whitefield Main Road. 
Okay, so Rituraj, uh, Varthur is a market that we recommend because of its strategic location close to Whitefield, ORR and Sarjapur Road. This market is ideal for investing in the residential segment because there are many IT parks and SEZs uh, surrounding this area which will drive rental income for you also. Uh, all the projects that we are recommending uh, are providing a khata, CC and occupation certificates. It, they have all approvals from the BBMP. You could look at uh, Candor Rise by Candor Construction. Mulberry Mist by CMRS Group and Spring Bloom by High Life Homes. Talib Khan with an email says, uh, please suggest a 2 BHK in Bharatiya city or Mittal Elanza in Bengaluru in a budget of 60 to 65 lakhs. Which one of these projects is better for investment in the North Bangalore region? My budget being 65 lakhs. Well, uh, you know, with respect to this query, uh, Mr. Taib Khan has also sent two uh, projects, uh, shortlisted two projects, which we both liked. But uh, the projects uh, that he shortlisted, one of them is in Kogilu uh, of Bellary Road, which we have not covered in uh, our previous uh, shows. So just a little bit about Kogilu. This project, this uh, area is, uh, is actually is a key junction in route to the airport uh, with uh, significant developments across all categories from reputed developers. It is an account of excellent positioning, connectivity and accessibility basically uh, for quality developments. Uh, in the medium to long term period, the micro market is likely to witness increased preference on account of its livability conditions. Now coming to the two projects, Bharatiya City uh, Nico Homes is a project that we've been recommending in the show. Uh, project is uh, a part of a large township, uh, 2138 units already announced over there. Uh, the project is located off Thani Sandra Main Road, close to the Manipal Academy. Uh, the top architects uh, working on this project, all international uh, players. Uh, the project has also got luxury amenities, which includes a dance studio, aerobics room, clubhouses, common uh, business center, rooftop swimming pool, activity deck. Clubhouse is actually on 34th, 33rd floor uh, also. The other project, Mittal Lanza, which is in Kogilu, which we've spoken about, is trading at 5100 rupees. It is located on off Bellary Road on Kogilu Cross, uh, diagonally opposite to the Indian Oil Petrol Bank. Uh, this project is 2.87 acres, a so smallish project compared to the first project that you've liked. The project is offering you luxury amenities uh, like infinity pools uh, uh, and uh, pebble bed, chess garden, etc. But uh, there's a clubhouse as well, but not too many amenities as they've uh, suggested. Both the micro markets are quite safe on the inventory overhang front. Thani Sandra being 21 months and Kogilo being about 18 months. Kogilo is a slightly more expensive micro market at 4650 rupees a square foot. Uh, and Thani Sandra is 4200 rupees a square foot for the mid segment. Uh, mind you, you'll have to increase your budget by about 8 to 10 lakhs to buy into both these projects from your current budget. Uh, price appreciation for Thani Sandra is about 9 odd percent and Kogilo is about 9.5 percent. So similar price appreciations. Although Kogulu being higher is still doing better. Uh, Vasti Avante is the last recommendation from our side. Vasti Housing is the developer at 4700 rupees. There's a mid sized project spread across 5 acres uh, and 12 guntas. The developer is offering you an ISO 9001 2008 uh, certified uh, home uh, as per LEED guidelines. Uh, amenities here include an AC gym, uh, library, indoor uh, games, uh, swimming pool with kids, uh, pool attached. Uh, and also solid waste management is being offered in this facility, including water softening plants as well. Okay, Samir, uh, you uh, spoke about Kogilo as a micro market. Uh, what's working in favor of Thani Sandra? Why is the uh, demand for housing from end users and those looking to rent it out? Why is that demand been so consistent here? Well, uh, many reasons for that. The biggest one I would always say and I've been saying is the proximity to the Manita Tech Park which is the largest employment generation. Right. The social infrastructure is also touching, uh, doing pretty well over here. There are mm -hmm. prominent health care facilities like Columbia Asia Hospital, a host of educational institutions over there. The micro market is also witnessing developments in the retail space like uh, Element Small is coming up over there. Uh, so all social infrastructure is slowly coming in place, uh, it's en route to the airport, it's an alternate route in fact, which is uh, the next emerging micro, micro markets of uh, Bangalore because Bangalore is shifting northwards towards the airport site where uh, proximity to the airport for IT companies and IT 
and you know bangalore clearly is an it city is a big most important factor really and uh, that's what is leading to thani sandra doing continuously well and uh, it's it's the new big market to look out for okay so the next location to watch out for in bengaluru we'll move on to our next question coming in from subodh desh pande subodh hi how can we help you oh hi uh, this is subodh and i uh, actually was looking to invest uh, between 20 lakhs to 40 lakhs on uh, a plotted uh, development um either on sarjapur road because it is closer to outer ring road or uh, somewhere uh, near uh, devan halli and uh, typically the investment i was looking for was for a medium term that is between 5 to 7 years okay so okay so in today's market even 5 to 7 years is a pretty good time we would consider that as a long term hold he's looking at devanahalli and sarjapur road in 20 to 40 lakhs so we so, plotted projects well definitely uh, you know we would uh, choose devanahalli over sarjapur for this particular query multiple reasons for that a sarjapur road would be a bit higher uh price appreciation in sarjapur is uh, in devanhalli is uh, slightly better because uh, this is the emerging destination also one of the emerging destinations of uh, bangalore because of its proximity to the airport uh, there are the 1200 acre aero scz and a logistic park around there which has got uh, the potential has to still be realized over there so uh, devanhalli over the long term which is what is your requirement uh, over in plots will do better uh looking at the key data points of both the micro markets devanhalli actually has got 18 months of inventory over rank 1500 rupees a square foot is the weighted average price and because of the low base effect the price appreciation has been close to 12% on an annualized basis so net net keeping all these factors in mind we definitely believe this would probably be the right time to get into devanhalli and if you look at the charts the pricing has started to come down because of it being an investor driven market and bangalore real estate has started to slow down you could wait for a bit more but then you can catch the downturn and and be a long term investor in this market not town by blue valley properties is the first recommendation uh, it's an integrated township land over 33 acres uh, there are several amenities like uh, the project has six parks clubhouse swimming pool gym rainwater harvesting project is 90% completed uh, it's an integrated township of 33 acres so it's a large project confident uh, adonis by confident group at 2200 rupees spread across 27 acres again the project has facilities like clubhouse swimming pool and children's play area project is located in devanhalli and strategically located at the distance of 12 kilometers from the bangalore international airport elite grandeur by apranje estates at 1495 located on uh, devanhalli uh, vijayapura road on state highway 96 the community is being provided with a clubhouse swimming pool children's play area uh project is ready and uh, approved by all the top banks as well and why i'm saying that is because banks really fund plots but in this case the banks are also funding plots okay so both so devanahalli this market prices in fact have corrected here as samir's uh, price appreciation chart just showed you uh, so it's a great time for end users to come in here and get a good deal on properties uh, also uh, a number of infrastructure projects here are proposed for the future an aerospace park a science park a multi billion dollar devanahalli business park and a financial city so in the future there are plenty of uh, infrastructure drivers that will uh, take the price appreciation up upwards uh, the uh, options we have for you north town by blue valley properties confident adonis by confident group and elite grandeur by ranje estates an email from colonel ashish mehta he writes uh, two years ago i bought a 4 bhk in omax noida nri city for 83 and a half lakhs i may move to bengaluru after i retire in two years should i hold on to the current property will i get any appreciation on it for another year also what are the current prices in area 7 to 8 kilometers from mg road in bengaluru my budget is 1 crore so he wants to switch this property into a home in bengaluru yeah well first of all we'll definitely recommend uh, him uh, since it's an end use decision for him to be in bangalore to shift from uh, uh, nri city although it's a fantastic project very uh, well located within greater noida trading at about 4800 rupees a square foot but uh, we don't see any price appreciation going further in this project or with respect to greater noida uh, it's going to be very inflation led appreciation if at all uh, there has been a huge oversupply in greater noida and ncr region as we all know is going through the biggest uh, slump as such with respect to real estate uh, it has been about one and a half odd years now and it's going to take at least a year more 
for it to start getting out of the woods. Uh, uh, Bangalore is also witnessed a slowdown, but still Bangalore is a much more safer, uh, wiser market to be in at this point in time. Uh, it's not purely an investor-driven market and there is a good rental return opportunity besides uh, an appreciation possibility as well. So the, prop the area that we've shortlisted for you is uh, Mahadev Pura. A micro market which is about 8 to 10 kilometers away from uh, MG Road, which is what your choice was. But uh, coming closer, the pricing uh, will be much higher and we won't be able to get that to you in your budget. 17 months is the inventory overhang with 5350 rupees being the weighted average price of the market. 9% is the analyzed appreciation of this micro market as such. Uh, looking at the recommendations from our side, Harmony, which is about 11 kilometers from Mahadevpura. Uh, spread across 1.5 acres, uh, it's a G plus 6 story structure. Amenities here ex include exclusive uh, terrace swimming pool area, clubhouse with sports facilities. The project is also walkable distance to Total Mall and Wells Fargo offices, the fourth largest bank in the US. Uh, Durga Petals by Durga Projects Limited uh, at 5790 rupees. This is spread across 5 acres. Again, great amenities, clubhouse with gym, music room, uh, recreational zones with swimming pools. Uh, project construction has reached up to the fifth floor possession is early 2017. And lastly, we have Starlight by Trifecta Projects in Mahadevpura, 5600 rupees. Spread across 3.5 acres, total three wings of G plus 14 stories. Product construction is in mid to advanced stages. Possession is expected to be late next year. Spa with steam bath, jacuzzi, gym, clubhouse with all sports facilities. Uh, water harvesting, outdoor amphitheater, skating ring and jogging track. Okay, Colonel Mehta, if you do want to switch your property from Noida to one in Bengaluru, you could look at uh, Mahadevpura as a micro market. This one is close to Whitefield and Hoodie, the USP being presence of many IT companies. And also, phase two of the Namma Metro will pass through this micro market. So, many uh, benefits of this location. Uh, projects we recommend Harmony by Nestor Projects, Durga Petals by Durga Projects, and Starlight by Trifecta Projects. Home buyers in Bengaluru who are on the lookout for homes in the budget of 30 to 60 lakh rupees are today eyeing a new area in the city, Jigani. Located near South Bangalore, Jigani seems to be gaining uh, favorites among new home buyers and all, is also one of the few areas in the city that still has a prominent green cover. What are the other reasons why home buyers are looking at this area? Lakshmi Sividas finds out. It used to be a region that was most famous for its well-established industrial area. But today, Jigani is no longer just an industrial hub of Bengaluru. It is the newest area in South Bengaluru whose real estate fortunes are set to shine owing to the rapidly expanding IT sector. We have about uh, 7 lakh IT employees in that area. We have about uh, over a thousand uh, small-scale industries there. And a, and a host of other businesses. Instead of a, a hammer and tong kind of a manufacturing industry, it is, it's more of an IT belt. So, you know, that, that sort of dictates the mood of, of how the area comes up. Not only are IT giants like HCL and biotech companies like Biocon in the area, but Jigani is also close to the IT corridors of Banargata Road, an electronic city in South Bengaluru. This is also reason home buyers being seen here are those who work in both the industrial and IT sectors around Jigni. Developers say that most times they find homes in Jigni that start at 3,700 rupees a square foot, much cheaper than those in areas like Banargata Road, where prices start at around 5,000 rupees a square foot. Apart from this, home buyers also have the option of buying plots in Jigni with large open areas. Some of the well-known developers in Jigni are DLF, IVR and the Pride Group. However, there are very few grade A developers who have also set up projects here. This is one big reason why real estate experts caution that home buyers, particularly those looking to buy plots, conduct plenty of due diligence. Poor title cannot be rectified. Whichever part of the city and more so if you're buying there, please be careful. Please get a due diligence from a respectable advocate who's well renowned. Make sure that there are financial agencies that have approved the project. And, uh, then go ahead with it. Apart from this, not all areas of Jigni are equally developed. Good quality social infrastructure like hospitals and schools are yet to come up here, with the nearest ones being in Banargata Road and Electronic City. While well, social infrastructure is yet to develop overall in Jigani, areas like Konasandra are perfect for the weekend home. From Bengaluru, with camera person Govind, Lakshmi Shivdas, 
for NDTV. The NDTV Property Awards are once again inviting nominations for the 2015 edition of the Property Awards that will be presented by Paddy Ware and powered by Johnson Tiles. The nominations are now open. For details, one can log on to ndtv.com slash property awards or you can email us at propertyawards at ndtv.com. Coming up next on the South edition of The Property Show, affordable property destinations of Hyderabad. We'll also have mid-budget housing options in Chennai for self-occupation. And for those on the lookout for new launches in the South, here's Skylark, Royum on Hosa Road in Bengaluru.